first off, who is this product for? Well, the Pursuit Shoe is an all-terrain, meaning in the water, out of the water, in the boat, in the water, on dry land. Maybe you're wearing them to work or the local watering hole on a summer evening. It can do a little bit of everything. Uh, these shoes price at $139.95 and they're available in sizes 7 through 14 with half sizes in the 9, 10, 11 range. Now, why am I reviewing this product? Uh, I recently came across this product and it is like Sims, I don't know, maybe their 10th iteration of an all-terrain shoe that can do a little bit of everything, which is really appealing to me because I spend time in the boat and in the water. And when I first came across this shoe, uh, I really, really liked um, the wider toe box there. I like my feet. Uh, if they're wet, I like them to be able to spread out. And I think that's something they missed on their last version of this in the Challenger Air Vent shoe, which I really liked the shoe, but I would like my feet to be able to spread out, my toes to be able to spread out a little bit more in a damp environment. Um, breathable top here, fabric, uh, so it'll drain well, dry out well and uh, neoprene cuff around the ankle. I will be wearing these over my bare feet uh, so that will hopefully keep most of the bigger substrate like that annoying piece of gravel that always seems to wind up in the side of your sandal. Hopefully that neoprene will keep that out of there. It's got a quick lacing system so I don't need to tie my shoes. It's just a semi-elastic lace there with a, with a tensioner and then a really cool deal um, where I can hook the lace up and actually keep it from flopping around and hopefully keep it from interfering with my fly line. Uh, part of the story here with this uh, shoe and what jumped out at me was I really like the siping material on the bottom. So the sole is actually siped and I like the tread pattern. It's aggressive enough that I feel like I could hike uh, alongside a, a mountain stream or do some pretty good wading either in the river or out of the river. Say that slick grassy bank that always seems to to, to make me fall when I'm walking up the river. This tread looks like it'll handle that, but it's not so aggressive that my fly line is gonna get snagged, stuck, and interfered with. So I like the overall design of the shoe. Sims is getting better and better at designing these products as they go. Uh, let's take a couple of uh, looks at how that lacing system ties up. Uh, I have tried this on and I'm an 11 at everything and this seems to fit very true to size. Um, but the the, the side is covered with a TPU rand, so it looks like it is going to be very durable. And it does have, um, uh, I guess, a hook on the back to be able to hook my finger into so that I can pull it on because it will be snug to get on with that neoprene cuff the way it is. Additionally, one thing with water shoes that I always like to inspect is I always pull the insole out. And this is the first one I've seen with an insole that is perforated. And we'll just take a close look at that, that's as perforated as this one. So I envision a, a, a bit of silt and sand and really fine substrate. Of course, that's gonna get in your shoe, uh, but I like the idea of this drainage because I think a little bit of that silt will actually get away from my foot and down, hopefully into the bottom of the shoe. And then several times a day, you are gonna have to pull this shoe off and dump it out. Now, I don't think this shoe is gonna be one that you're gonna to wanna to wade all day in in a river. I just don't think that makes sense. I think there's a lot finer products for that. Where I'll use this first is in a saltwater skiff where I wanna wear a shoe in the boat. I'm much more comfortable. Uh, I don't go barefoot in the skiff. I like to have a shoe, but I can also jump out and, uh, and scurry across the flat, maybe chasing a school of bonefish or a permit, and then I can probably end up dumping the sand out of the shoe because as a low top, I'm gonna get material in there that's just facts. And I can rinse it out and jump back in the skiff. And I've got one shoe for minimal wading, uh, but I'll also wear all day in the skiff. It does seem to have pretty comfortable arch support. I'm not real picky about that. If you, uh, if you were wearing this primarily in the boat, you could certainly throw in a super foot type insole and you'd really have a shoe with tremendous arch support. Uh, for those long days on the bow of a skiff. But that's my review of the Sims uh, Pursuit shoe.